Hello and welcome back to another Doctor Who unboxing. As you can tell by the TARDIS, we're going to take a look at this, which I'm going to guess is Doctor Who Season 17. Yes, for many people, one of the weaker Tom Baker series and for many people, the worst Tom Baker season. For me, it's not the weakest. I think Season 15 is my least favourite of the fourth Doctor era. I've got a bit of a soft spot for Season uh, 17. So the way this food is going to work is I'm going to unbox it, take a look at the presentation of this release, then look at the new special features what feature on this so if you haven't picked this up and you're umming and ahhing about all oh, what's different what's new um then i'll talk about the new special features what feature on this and then do a classic blu-ray lineup of the collection range so far so without further ado here we let's are begin. um the unboxing of season 17. um a little bit of a worry because i didn't think it would arrive in time because obviously it was delayed uh, by a week and obviously it's nearly christmas so it, it's glad, I'm glad that it's finally here for us to, to enjoy. Um, yeah, so we just take season 17 out. There it is, we've got the lovely spine like so. We move the cardboard out of the way like so. There we have it, season 17 on Blu-ray. And doesn't that look absolutely stunning? So I'm gonna take the cellophane wrapper off and then we're gonna take a closer look at the inside of this set. Season 17 has been released from its Sharda cellophane packaging. Um, I think that this box has been released at the right time of year. It's December, everyone's a little bit jolly, and season 17 is quite a pantomime sort of funny season, isn't it? It's Tom Baker trying to put all the jokes in, and really Tom Baker at the height of his power, really, before he was sort of stripped back with John Nathan Turner when sort of everything sort of became a little bit more serious and a bit more sci-fi. So this is quite a wacky, fun season of Doctor Who, really. Um, so the cover art, we've got sort of a City of Death sort of motif there, with a sort of device there, a lovely photo of the fourth Doctor there. We've got sort of the villains there. We've got Scaroff, the Nymon, the Mandrill, the Dalek, Davros, and the, the sort of villain from Creature from the Pit, Lady something. Can't quite remember. Um, I'm not much of a... I can't remember much about Creature from the Pit to be honest, so this is a 7 disc set and a 12 and we have the side there of course, we'll have a look how it all lines up uh, with the other collection box sets at the end of the video. So this is what we get, so this is all your special features, so we have Continue Your Doctor Who Archive of the Ultimate Collector set containing Destiny of the Daleks, very good story, underrated, City of Death, classic, Creature from the Pit, probably my least favourite of the season, then we have the Nightmare of Eden, The Horns of Nymon and Sharda! All 26 episodes, newly restored for Blu-ray and packed with extra material, including any special features. Bit of little cast wire there. Um, so if we take the little cellophane, or uh, well, little J-card off, I should say, we've got the lovely sort of clean artwork there. Very nice. So if we turn it to the back, oh, that is lovely. I really do like that. We've got sort of a TARDIS there, and I think that's, I think it's from Sharda. I want to say it's from Sharda. Um, I could be wrong, but I feel like probably Creature from the Pit, actually. That could be from Creature from the Pit or Sharda. Um, but yeah, I love that sort of space greeny cosmos. But I'm, I'm going to say it's probably from Creature from the Pit, actually. Um, but yeah, I really do like the look of that. That is a really lovely, um, that is a lovely little touch uh, to that and great little display that. Um, so if we open it up, we have the booklet, which is the Horns of Night. So take a look at the disc. So disc one is Destiny the Daleks. It would have been nice to have the Daleks and Davros on that disc. Um, but I do like the image of the fourth Doctor and Romana on there. Disc two is City of Death with Scarlione, so that's, that's nice to have a bit of a villain from the piece and what a great story that is. Creature from the Pit, um, disc three, um, so we've got one of the guards and Romana there. Yeah, kind of cool. Would have been nice to have the, the strange creature on the on the disc, just as a little bit of a joke. Uh, disc four, Dark of Eden, um, yeah, a bit of an odd choice for a disc. It would have been nice to have had like a mandrel or something. Um, just add a little bit more variety, but yeah, we've got Tom on the disc. Can't go wrong with a bit more Fourth Doctor. Then at disc five, we have the Horns of Nymon. Uh, yeah, it, it, it's a strange choice. It could have had Solid Eed and a Nymon, you know, just for the meme's sake. Um, but yeah, they, the discs do seem a little bit generic in the sense that it's all oh, Fourth Doctor and Romana. And then disc six is Shard with Chronotis and Romana. And the final disc is, of course, Disc 7, Shard and bonus material. If we remove that like so, we will have, hopefully, a fourth Doctor image. There we go, the fourth Doctor in his title sequence. So that is the discs. Then if we open the booklet there, we've got a lovely solid deed there. And oh, love him. What a man. And we open it up like so. We have sort of a lovely destiny of the Daleks display. That's a nice little action piece of the Mavellans there and the fourth Doctor running with some of the Dalek bombs. That's really cool. And again, that's on the booklet motif there, which is very nice. So if we take that off like so, uh, we can have a look at the inside thing. So we've got canine being repaired from laryngitis. 
and yeah, basically Destiny of the Daleks sort of TARDIS console room. Booklet wise, you get this sort of more exciting Doctor Two product. So we get this sort of missing episode soundtrack, which is a nice time factor advertisement. And we have some sort of pin badges sort of stuff there and the escape room. And then the sort of Eagle Moss stuff, we're all tying to season 17, which is a very cool edge of reality. And what else we got? Big finish stories to tie into season 17. Got the B&M stuff, which is nice to see that being advertised. And we have Doctor Who magazine and the sort of advertisements for the new exhibition and some Doctor Who comics. But the booklet itself, let's open it up. There we go. You can see it. Lovely artwork there of the fourth Doctor Romana and the Daleks. Great little action piece by Lee Binding. Um, so we've got a little welcome to season 17, which is rather cool. If we open it up, we sort of get the breakdown on what's each disc. So disc one, Destiny of the Daleks there. And of course we have a nice bit of artwork there, which is lovely. Do you like that? A bit more information about the production of Destiny of the Daleks. And of course the reception and the after image of the story itself. Disc two, City of Death. Uh, again, the sort of disc breakdown there and the production and lovely artwork that is really nice that is a lovely touch of sort of the scaroff ship in for jagaroff's eye love that that is a wonderful little touch uh, that's great artwork and again we have the reception and the after image of the story creature from the pit there got a nice still and of course the disc breakdown of the actual thing production wise there um very detailed these booklets are nice bit of artwork there the reception and the after image nightmare of eden again we have the disc breakdown what's on that disc and again, production side, bit of artwork there, which is rather nice. K9 fighting a mandrel. And again, reception after image. Horns of Nymon, again, disc breakdown. And of course, development, production, all that sort of stuff. And there we have Solid Eed. How many Nymon have you seen today? Three! Uh, yeah, that's a nice little touch, free Nymon. <laughs> and then, of course, reception and after image. And then we have Sharda, which is disc six. Um, the definitive version, because this has been slightly edited. Um, into a six part instead of the animated one, what was like a feature length thing. Um, so disc seven there, of course, is Sharda and other bonus material. And we have the artwork there for Sharda, which is pretty nice uh, with Skagra. And yeah, that is the booklet there. Um, talking more about Sharda and lovely image of the fourth Doctor, Romana and K9. That is a lovely booklet, that. Really like that. Nice chunky booklet. And Look forward to reading that as well. Moving on to the new special features for this box set. So for disc one, Destiny of the Daleks, we have uh, Behind the Sofa featuring Colin Baker, Nicola Bryant, Graham Harper, June Hudson, Matt Irvine, um, Katie Manning and Matthew Wardhouse. No Tom Baker on the Behind the Sofa, I guess because of COVID, Tom didn't want to risk it, which, you know, is fair enough. So that's kind of be an interesting Behind the Sofa team. But to make up for it, Tom Baker has done a new audio commentary for episode one and episode four of Destiny of the Daleks. We have a new making of for destiny of the daleks which is going to be very cool optional 5.1 surround on all audio and then we have a blue peter excerpt and another blue peter excerpt about a fan-made dalek the nationwide excerpt uh, featuring a radiophonic workshop and then risen the blu-ray trailer for season 17 which is a great trailer seeing david goodison reprise his role as davros trails and continuity revised and updated production subtitles photo gallery in hd and of course a load of pdf material Again, with these Blu-ray box sets, we have the existing DVD extras as well. Um, so for disc two, in terms of new special features for City of Death, we have Behind the Sofa, audio commentary, The Hitchhiker's Guide to Douglas Adam, Designing City of Death from the Cutting Room Floor, Blue Peter Exos with K9, Trails and Continuity, Revised and Updated Production Subtitles and Photo Gallery in HD, and of course, PDF material on all the other discs as well. Disc three, The Creature from the Pit, in terms of new special features, we have Behind the Sofa, uh, Original Edit of Part 3, Lana Ward Remembers Season 17, Remembering Creature from the Pit, BBC Choice Backstage with David Briley discussing K9, Trails and Continuity, Revised and Updated Production Subtitles and Photo Gallery in HD. Disc 4, The Nightmare of Eden, so new special features, we have Behind the Sofa with Nightmare of Eden, Bob Baker in Conversation, which I think is going to be even more poignant now since we sadly lost Bob Baker this year, so... That's going to be a nice little watch to see what he makes of it all real. We have the nationwide excerpt on Doctor Who toys. That's going to be exciting because, you know, I like Doctor Who toys, uh, as you can see. Trails and Continuity, revised and updated production subtitles and photo gallery in HD. Disc 5, the horns of Nymon. Uh, we have, in terms of new special features, Behind the Sofa, Swap Shop with Lala Ward. Panopticon Archive with Tom Baker from 1997. 
Genesis of the Daleks LP version, audio only. Uh, Trails and Continuity, revised and updated production subtitles, photo gallery in HD. And then disc six, which is the sort of edited Sharda into the six part format. Um, so the new special features are Behind the Sofa on Sharda, What's on Wogan featuring K9, and again, another What's on Wogan with Lala Ward, Trails and Continuity, revised and updated production subtitles, photo gallery in HD, and then disc seven, which is the movie edition of Sharda, which contains, in terms of new special features, raw studio footage, which is two hours and 30 minutes. So if that's your thing, then knock yourself out. And then we have the Sharda blue screen filming and the Doc 2 collection season 18 trailer. So those are your new special features for season 17. So here is the Doc 2 collection so far and doesn't it look very snazzy and to finally have, you know, three consecutive series in a row, season 17, season 18 and season 19. You can really see how the collection series is shaping up and I look forward to whatever sets we get next year because these Blu-ray box sets are definitely a highlight for any Doc 2 fan within the year when we get them released. So this year we've done all right we've had season eight which is probably my favorite season of this year's bunch and of course we've had season 24 and now season 17 so we've had three releases so there we have it the doc 2 collection season 17 unboxing it yeah it's going to be great to dive into this because I, I do have a soft spot for this season you know city of death one of my absolute favorite stories of all time destiny of the daleks an absolutely underrated one and you know i really like horns of nine one i think that it's a great pantomime story and Nightmare of Eden, I think, has a, a strong message behind it. I think Bob Baker and Dave Martin are some underrated writers, but of course, Nightmare of Eden is Bob Baker going solo with this one. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to, to revisiting this and Creature from the Pit. Though it's very infamous um, for that one moment, we all know what moment I'm on about. It'll be interesting to revisit because that's a glorious thing with these Blu-ray box sets, is that people get to reevaluate, reappraise um, Doc 2 seasons, what they might not be a fan of, like season 24 we've had this year. Um, so it'd be great to see, you know, this season get a bit more love, which I think is always the case when these Blu-ray box sets come out. And of course, new special features, always a win. So that has been my unboxing. Hope that you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time for more Doc2 content. So if you like this, then please do like and subscribe. There's plenty more Doc2 content coming in the near future. Um, whether that be figure reviews, big finish reviews, unboxings, collection updates, live streams, you name it, we do all manner on this channel so if you like the sound of that then please do hit that subscribe button and i'll see you next time for more snazzy docs you content so thank you very much and bye bye <laughs> <laughs>